Okay, so it's this is a stand development that I've been doing um, in PyroCat HD. So here we're going to empty it out now and just pour it in here. There's no rush when you've been stand developing. So I mean, 35 minutes is the time for this PanF in PyroCat HD at two plus two plus five hundred. I've been agitating it for 20 seconds every 10 minutes up to now uh, and sitting it in a 20 degree centigrade bath of water um, but there's no rush it's s developing so slowly it doesn't really matter I can just pour it out now into the old developing jug there and there we go it's all gone now with pyro developers we want to use a water bath so I'm going to pour this 20 centigrade water in here. I've put about 300 to 400 mil. It's a 35 millimeter pan air film. So 300 mil is the size for this tank. And I'm just going to give it about 20 seconds, 30 seconds in this water. And this is going to stop the development. It's diluting the already very dilute developer in this case even more and just ceases the development of the pyro cat but it keeps the stain i don't want to use a stop bath which is acidic and will take away some of the lovely stain that the pyro cat is putting in the emulsion of this film so that's the first stop there i'm going to do it again let's pour it out here and put another say 300 or so in there it doesn't matter very much I just see it inside just pop this in again give it constant agitation for another 30 seconds washing out more of the developer from the film whilst maintaining that lovely pyro stain. Because that's what we're after with this developer. We really want that that stain or we'd use a different developer. We wouldn't use a pyro developer at all. That's really what we want. So this last time again about 300 milliliters of water this is all at 20 centigrade it's important to keep all your liquids at 20 centigrade you don't want a big temperature change between any of these liquids so there we go just giving in another 30 seconds or so doesn't do any harm now now, for all intents and purposes, that development has stopped. Nothing's happening inside that tank. So I don't have to rush. I don't have to worry about anything now. The final stage is going to be the fixing. And I've got some fixer already at 20 centigrade. There we go. Let's pour that water out. Be careful with these tanks. If this top clicks to the left, it's going to fall off when you turn it upside down. So always make sure it's it's nice and tight. All right. So there we are. The film's in there. Development stopped. I've washed the developer out of the film. And now I'm going to add the fix. I can stop my clock and put the fix in. Now, how long am I going to fix for? I'm going to fix for twice the clearing time. And I'm going to show you how to check that. Um, so we're going to put the fix into this tank. We're going to wait 15 seconds. And then I'm going to open the tank. And we're going to have a look at the film. You cannot damage the film now once this fix has gone in there. So let's have a look. We've got the clock already. And here's my fix. This is TF3 fix. Let's pour it in. It's at 20 centigrade, just like all the others. Start my clock and I'm going to agitate it gently for 15 seconds. Now, a lot of you wouldn't dare open the top now and you, you'd 
fixed for huge lengths of time, much too long. Uh, here we go, open the top, and let's have a look at this film. So look at that, it's almost fixed already. There's, but there's a slight milkiness. So I'm just going to dunk the film with my fingers in here. You can't damage the film. I've taken the top off, but that first 15 seconds of fixing is enough. And I'm looking now and it's black. The film looks shiny black. There's no sign of the frames on the film. So that's already the first clearing time. It was about 45 seconds. So I'm going to develop, uh, sorry, I'm going to fix this film for twice 45 seconds. One and a half minutes. So I just keep dunking it with my fingers like this. And that fix is dissolving away any of the silver halides that have not been developed. Just gently dunking it in. No rush here. Nothing can go wrong. And there we have it. That's as long as you need to fix the film. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll put another video up soon.